there are 25,000 scientific journals, so you can't possibly read them all. So I tend to largely ignore all of that stuff. I'm a specialist reporter, so the idea is that I should know about news stories before they happen in my field by having a good contacts book, and people tend to tell me what's coming up. And the great thing about science is it's always something new. Uh, it's not the same old story again and again. Find out what's interesting to you in there. It's a huge church of things, so space physics, uh, medicine, there's nanotechnology in there, there's robots, there's all sorts of things. It's my job to make them interested in that and the way you do that is make it applicable to them. So there's got to be the right amount of tension in there about you know, what people are trying to find out, why are they trying to find out, what's this intriguing insight that they've discovered and how is that useful for society at large. I don't worry about things being technical, I don't worry about things being difficult. People love these sorts of stories because it shows us where we sit in the universe and, and, and just for a moment you can sort of get away from your daily worries and stuff and just think, God, people are quite clever somewhere, aren't they?